Erica Henry here with Coffee and Coloring, and today I'm going to be doing another product review um, of some more MapHead products. These were sent to me by the company to review and give an honest review on. Right here we have the uh, MapHead Graph Peps. This is a 10 pack, five colors on this side, five colors on this side. This retails for um, $16.61 on Amazon. And here we have the MapHead Duo Graph Peps. And this is 10 pens that have 20 colors total. There's one on each side. And um, these retail for $13.99 on Amazon. So today, I'm not sure if I'm going to be creating a drawing or just kind of giving you a review of how they write. I haven't decided yet, but um, I'm going to go ahead and give you an overall view. These are the fine point. They come in .44, I'm sorry, they come in .4 millimeters. They are um, felt tip, and they are very fine point. I do really like this case. You just push this little blue thing down and it becomes a holder like that in a little stand, which is pretty cool to me. Um, and when you're done, you just make sure they're all down. That is a drawback to this style. If they're not all down, it won't close. But I do like this hard case. It is a hard plastic um, case. But it also creates a little stand. So I do have a color swatch here for you. Of the different colors that are included. Um, they aren't named, but it will give you an idea. I'm going to zoom in. Alright, so this is a black, and I tried a couple different ways. Um, you know, kind of scribbly type, a little bit of a more controlled, a two-layer crosshatch that is more separated out, and then a tight two-layer crosshatch. I don't know these particular art techniques what the actual names are but you know I know what the effects does there is a green there is a lovely yellow there is a brown a light blue and a dark blue a pink an orange which it's actually more of a fluorescent type orange than what kind of shows up on my camera but it is more of a fluorescent orange there is a lighter green and also a red. Now I did like these pens quite a bit whenever I was testing them out. I did like, um, zoom out here. I did like the tips on them. I'm going to show you those now. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on. There we go. They do have this really fine felt tip to them. Here's the label. It does say extra fine and it is 0.4. Whenever I was trying these out, um, I did like that they are triangular. A lot of the products that I have tried from this company are triangular, so they fit really well in your hand. They feel good. I also like that the caps go on the back. That's very important to me because I don't like having caps everywhere because I lose them. Um, it also, being triangular, makes it a little bit harder to roll as well, which I like. So, whenever I was using these, I just kind of played around a little bit just to make some different shapes and those kinds of things just to see how I like the consistency. I did like the nice smooth writing that came along with this because whenever I use ink pens I'm not drawing with them often as far as you know using cross hatching techniques and those kinds of things I primarily use them to ink my drawings um, but let's just do my YouTube Subscribers are the best because you are. But I like how I love how smooth these pens do. Um, for me personally, I don't know that I would do a lot of different colors unless I was using for them for journaling. 
Um, that is something that I personally would use them for quite often because I really like colors in my journal. I don't know why, I just do. But as far as just for drawing with, me personally, I would probably only use the black for inking my coloring book pages. But overall, I really did like these. Next up are the Graph Pen Duos. Now these do come in a variety of colors. Um, there's 10 pens and 20 colors total. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can take a look at the colors up close. There's a black, a brown, a dark green, gray, an orange, pink, lighter green, Lots of different color variations. I really enjoyed them. And I did really like how saturated the color was whenever I just kind of did this little scribbly thing here. That was pretty cool. Now these do come in a pack that is like this. It's a little um, cellophane, not cellophane, it's plastic. Um, but it's bendable plastic. It does have a snap keep them closed, which I did like. Um, let's pull these out because I want to show you something that's pretty cool with these. So these are also the extra fine. They are the 0.4 millimeter as well. And um, each one has two pins. And not just two colors, but two physical pins. They come apart and you get these little mini pins, which are pretty cool. Um, so if you've got some that you, you know, use more often, you can pull them apart and put those two together and make your own combinations. Now they are a little difficult to put back together. This was a drawback to me um, because I had difficulty. They have to be put together just perfectly you have to line these little pins up perfectly and then they slide together really easily but just something to note um, they're not as easy to put together as I first anticipated they would be because you do have to get them lined up but once you get them lined up it's very easy to put in now a drawback to these is there's nowhere to put your top so it has to just lay there and then it's going to roll around that's a drawback to me but I do like that I could carry less pins with me and get the same amount of colors. Um, takes up less space, so that's cool. Um, now these are just like the other ones as far as writing. They are lots of fun, nice smooth lines, felt tip, felt um, tip as well. Pretty sure these are the exact same pins, just in a different shape. Um, so they do have nice consistent ink flow, which is always nice. Um, and they do write very well. I was very impressed with these pens as far as um, a writing pen. For me personally, I don't draw with pens often, but as far as you know just doodling and those kinds of things are pretty cool so I don't know what I just made there I was just moving my hands but um, they are a lot of fun they write very smooth I'm going to turn my hand a little bit so you can actually see the ink go on very smooth liked it a lot um, like I said with the other set me personally, I would mainly use black, which is right here, and that would be for inking my coloring book pages if I was drawing with them. Lots of people draw with pens, though. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm very envious of those people who can. Um, it's just not something that I particularly learned how to do. It scares me because it's permanent, and that's just me, but I could see me journaling in these a lot. So for the price, you know, they're very good. You get pretty much 20 pins for 14 bucks. 
pretty good deal in my book. You can get these on Amazon. I would recommend these. Um, like I said, drawbacks to this pack. All these pins have to be pushed down completely before you can close. It's something that I usually have one pin that isn't, and I usually have to go back and fix it again. With these, I don't like that I can't put my lid anywhere. It's just a personal preference. Doesn't affect how the pen works. It's just, you know, my personal preference. I also do like that I can take these two pens apart and then put them differently. I wonder if the, no, lid won't stay on. I was gonna see if the lid might stay on that way, but it doesn't. Um, hadn't tried that yet. But I do like that you can mix and match colors and then, you know, if you have a certain theme that you're working on in a journal or something like that, you know, you can carry one pen and get two different things. They are a little bit difficult to put back together. Um, they are a little difficult to put back together if you don't have them lined up perfectly. But I do like that both of these sets are the triangles, so they do feel well, they do feel good into the hands. So that's my review on the Graph Pen Duos. I like these little pens. They're very decently priced and I really like writing with them. I don't see myself drawing with them much, but that's just my personal preference. But I do see myself journaling with these because I really like how words write down with them. So thank you for watching and links to these products will be in the description below if you're interested in grabbing yourself a set of these and um, make sure in the comments to put you know what you would like to see me review next or you know a technique you would like to see me do or you know anything like that because I do these for you guys and I want to know what you want to see so make sure to leave a comment below give this thing a thumbs up subscribe to the channel all that good stuff so thank you again for watching thank you so much for watching you can click to check out another video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the newest videos that come out Please remember to comment below on what you'd like to see next, whether it's a tutorial or a review on another product. I want to hear from you because you guys help guide me on where to go. Thanks again. It's Erica Henry with Coffee and Coloring. Until next time, bye.